In this tutorial, we will uh, work on creating a surface for our existing um, contours. This is designed for exercise 10. We want to create uh, an earthwork calculation for exercise 11. To do that, we need a base surface to calculate against with our proposed information. To create the existing information, we're going to use the existing contours. The existing contours are already set to elevation, seeing my using my quick properties here. You can see the set to elevation. What I want to do is set these to a, um, um, isolate these contours and, and um, go and create a surface of those. To create a surface, I can use the create ground data um, tool up here, create surface. Create surface, I'll go and uh, make create it as existing. You can also use EG for existing uh, ground. I'll go and hit OK. What that did is just create a container that I can now define a surface uh, to. I will select one contour, uh, minor contour, one major contour. I'm going to use the isolate command. Isolate now isolates um, only that information that I need. I'm going to add these contours to that existing surface that I just created, that container. Here's my existing. I chose the tool space to show the prospector. And now I can use the expand that to see the definitions. I'll go ahead and uh, right click on the contours, choose add. I'm going to let all the defaults happen up here for the existing surface. I'm also going to use, use the minimize flat areas on the existing surface. We will modify this on our proposed uh, piece later. Hit OK. It's asking us to select the contours. Go ahead and use a crossing selection to select my contours. Choose enter. Contours have now been defined on my surface, and I can go ahead and re or unisolate my uh, my selection. And you can see this little green outline now shows up for my for my contour for the for the surface. I can show this in a different display with my quick properties turned on. I can see this tin surface shows up my properties. I can look at this with uh, contours and triangles, and you can see the triangles are forming a pretty nice tin surface on here. It gets a little bit messy down here along the swell uh, for the uh, for the roadway, but we're not going to worry about that so much because we're going to actually use the, uh, the property boundary as the boundary of our surface. And we can do that by choosing boundary in our surface definition, click add. We don't need a name on here. It's a non-destructive break line, by the way. So what that means is it just making a, an, a delineating the edge of our of our surface without doing anything about the elevations. It's not destroying anything within our surface. Hit OK. Choose that boundary. You just click it once and you can see it's now been defined. So we have a boundary uh, set on our surface. And we also have our, uh, our contours have already been set. That's it. We just created an existing surface. But we're not going to want to display our surface this way uh, when we're when we're going to be working with our proposed surface. So we're going to just click on our surface and we're going to let this be displayed as no display. That's just a way of turning it off. It's still there, um, but we're we just don't need to see it uh, for for the rest of this project.